morning, friends. It's a new day. As you can see by my clothes, the cold found us. So it's time to leave. We're gonna go a little more south. So apparently this other campground has more things to see. So if it is interesting, I'll show you guys. Watch you leave. We could fit a 18 wheeler here. Yeah, like, that's a big, big spot. Yeah, the website says 75 feet, something like that. That's crazy huge. Okay, let's see if everything is on place. Almost. Almost. Just a little bit out of place. We have to find a way of actually make these chairs stable during travel. They always move around, but we kind of knew that that would happen. It's just not made for a travel trailer, right? So, let the sun come in and warm this trailer. Hopefully there's no flies in this place, but I think everywhere in New Mexico, I think all the campgrounds have flies, because that's we've been to two of them with a lot of flies. So many flies! Look the amount of flies that we have here right now. I cannot even go in. Wow. Wow. Just wow bombies. Okay, I'm gonna grab the dogs and feed them. All the babies inside. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, baby? Mission accomplished. And the whole reason why we are in an electric site is this thing, <laughs> our electric heater. I think I told you guys already, so we always had problems with the heater that comes in the trailer, right? Like the one that's supposed to be there. There's always like pet hair or something that goes inside even though we try to put like a mesh or something to block so we don't use it anymore. We have the Buddy, uh, which is that heater that is with gas, right? So, but it's not great for every day if it's too cold. If it's just like for one quick night to keep us warm, no problem. But as soon as we have to use it like through the whole day and all, it's not ideal. So we are in the electric side, so we don't have to worry about it. All set? Almost. We are unhooked. Okay. We have to move the truck. Amazing. And then we're ready to go explore the alien land. Okay, but like everything else is hooked, right? Water, we have everything. Okay. Have power, water. Do you want to eat something though? Sure. Yeah, Please. before exploring, right? Please, thank you. Okay, come, come inside then. Okay, just move the truck. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see something for us to eat because I'm very hungry too. And while I was cooking for us, I looked outside of the window and I saw this. Look how pretty this place is actually. Oh, the sun is setting really early now. Well, it's almost 6 p.m. So yeah, the sun is setting. So I don't think we're gonna be able to explore today the campground and the surroundings and stuff. And I still have to edit videos and stuff like that so yeah so i was like you know what i'm just gonna show them this beautiful part of the of the campground and it looks like you can swim it's very cold i don't think anyone's gonna swim but there's spots all around you can see the picnic tables there it's very peaceful the water is very very clean this is a, another campground like the one that we were this week that we left this morning it's we're paying 14 bucks for this spot and it has electricity and water the spots are very spacious like you can have a huge bus with a car 
towing behind you and you would still fit here no problem and i love this picnic tables actually that it's like concrete but it's very like easy to clean and you start to you actually enjoy a lot outside when they're like that they're very clean and they have the concrete on the floor which means that we can sit there with the dogs and they're not like on dirt or anything like that so very very nice oh it's so cozy in here oh it's so cold outside so anyways Diego's still working there and um, we're gonna eat something yeah please I'm starving it's almost ready yeah I'm super tired too yeah and then we have like some netflix to watch Yay, to yeah. rest. and tomorrow I'm gonna go to roswell yeah. see some aliens <laughs> and i already love this place because there's so many fighter jets flying by information that is crazy and i think is to protect us from the ufos you know oh wow crazy diego the girls are also happy look at them Oh well. <laughs> Welcome to Roswell. Roswell. And there's a bunch of stickers and that's why we're here because you guys know that Diego's the crazy sticker guy and he but wants But I'm not here to take a sticker. No? I'm here with one goal in mind. Finding the roots of Dora. What? Because she's an alien. Oh wow, that was bad, Diego. Can you give another reason yeah. why you're here? to see a UFO maybe? Yes. That would be please. way better than, than your joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's someone here that is another travel. Where are we? Yay. Who else? No one else is travel stuff, eh? You are beautiful. Thank, Thank you. You are too. <laughs> okay. Yay, no roots troop in Roswell. Roswell, baby. Let's go. We are super late. We worked all day, just released the video, so we didn't have time to get out of the trailer soon enough to see the wildlife refugee. It's already closed and the visitor center closes in half an hour. Anyway, so we're going to the visitor center even though it might close on us. And we are here walking on downtown Roswell. We know nothing about the city. We got here by coincidence because it was on our way south in New Mexico. <laughs> That's very us. Just because we're here, we close at 3 p.m. Just today. Just today. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, welcome to Roswell. We came here to buy some stickers, alien stickers, UFO stickers, but friendly. It's closed! Yeah. yeah. And so the thing about Roswell is that in 1947 they said that like an UFO spaceship. Yeah, it crashed here. Some people say it was a balloon from the government, but I know for sure in my heart that it was a UFO. <laughs> so yeah, no, the government said after that it was a balloon that they were doing like tests or whatever it was and explain it, but People that believe in UFO, they say it's a conspiracy and uh, there's a conspiracy that says that they are trying to hide. After a few years, no one was talking about the crash anymore. A, f a famous coroner uh, gave an interview and then it lit the story again. So everyone thinks... Because it is true. Yeah, Diego believes in aliens <laughs> or wants to believe in aliens. I don't know. Roswell, we believe. Oh my god, that is so adorable. See, this is the kind of thing that it's fun in the city, is that anywhere you go, everything has this theme of UFOs, aliens, and it's funny. <laughs> Look 
cut a, the little things on the wall. This one is dead. I think they're kind of cute though. I would be friends with them. Really? Yes. I don't think so. They're tiny. I think I'll be shooting myself. Okay, those ones have like mean faces. But this one? No, I think they're all happy. What about this one? This one looks so sad. That one, look. Miserable. Just wants to be your friend. Are you sure you don't want to be friends with them, Diego? <laughs> Who's happy? I'm happy. Why? Let me show you something, but I'll sh stop secret. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at the little face. And there's a cow right here. Yeah. And UFO. UFO and, and another cow. Another cow. And Very 47 nice. is the year of the crash. The car's right here. Oh. Aren't you gonna open the door for me? Oh yeah, why not? Oh wow. Thank you, honey. Oh yeah, I need to we take take everything. Hiding all the cameras. I I always hide stuff. All the gear. All the gear. Yeah. So the city, it's tiny. It's fun, but it's tiny. So I don't think we're gonna like stay longer in the campground just to come back. I don't think so. Do you think we should stay longer in the campground? Mm, nah. nah. Yeah. We had fun. It was everything was closed, but we'd have fun. Yeah. And now it's time to see some caves. See some caves, exactly. And I just realized as we're returning home that there's no hot shower. <laughs> I completely forgot that our heater is not working. But now that I'm like returning home, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair. And then I'm like, oh no, we don't have a heater. The it's water heater is broken. Yeah. yeah. It is broken. I went to the campground uh, bathroom. It is actually very good. You can go there. Yeah, but you said but it's that it's cold. Yeah, exactly. Like the shower is hot, but the the bathroom is cold. Exactly. And it is eight degrees outside. Right yeah, now. seven. Just oh, yeah, seven. it just moved <laughs> as he was speaking. Seven. And when we get there, it's gonna be like zero. Let's try DIY in the middle of the night. It's freaking cold outside. Eh? Yeah. Where the water here is right here, amazing, perfect. So hopefully there's a. Oh wow, that's a lot of dust. So I can't see any like Wait. dust button you press. Yeah, there's a reset button. Mm -hmm. Looks more like this way no. would have something. Of course, ours doesn't have a reset button. Okay. Uh, I'll stop recording and I'll check the photos on the internet first. Okay, so we were outside. There's apparently there's no reset button. So Diego is trying to see if it's in here by any chances because the website said that like it depends on whoever installed it, depending on where they want to put the thing. So hopefully it's behind this wall. That's the situation. That's the first time we opened this place. Yeah, yeah, I never saw this in my life. And there's no button, eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> All of these components, I'm going to go back to using my black probe. And I've disconnected my alligator clip there. And you're going to... So in the video, the guy shows a little bit of what can be wrong. We're going to try one thing that it's the only thing that we can test right now. And if it works perfectly, then we know what it's the fuse that it's broken or whatever. If it doesn't work, we're going to have to, I don't know, either buy more stuff or... So apparently this, this thing right here, this thing, is the thing that can be yeah, broken or something. Broken. Well, I don't know. So he just says to take this off and put it straight inside without the... So yeah, he says that this little piece might be like broken inside or something. Digala. Connecto? Connecto. Oh, I heard a noise. Let me see. You heard it? Like a little, no, a little tee. Oh, okay. We see. Uh, gas. Gas, yeah, I know. Guys, wait. 
<gasps> it worked. Oh my god. This little thing. It's the problem. I mean, we have to say, Diego, we have to say how glad we are that it was the first thing that we yeah, tried. It was. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> But now I don't know, like, can we let this run? I think we can, because this is like a second thing. Like a safety? Yeah, a second safety. Okay. The first one is inside the T-STAT. Okay. And the second one is this one. So guys, this, we need to replace this tomorrow, but I'm gonna have warm shower. Okay. Oh wow, look at us, MacGyver style. MacGyver style. <laughs> 